Hi, this is Richard Forrester, Amador County Supervisor and CSAC President, and I'm here to tell you today that there's a crisis in California. The tree mortality that we're experiencing, it's really unprecedented, and unless you get into the Sierra Nevada, in particular the central and southern Sierras, you don't necessarily understand the gravity of it. Uh, we've got lots of photos and videos of it, but they don't do justice unless you're flying over it or standing in these stands of dead trees. This has been progressive but quick. The bark beetle, which is always with us, has benefited from the effects of the drought. They go from tree to tree and uh, go to the center of those trees. There's your 29 million plus trees that are uh, being affected by the bark beetles now. It's going to be catastrophic for California. These dead trees are leaving a high number of hazard trees in our forests around communities, campgrounds, along roads, trails, and power lines. They also pose a significant risk to communities if a wildfire breaks out in these high hazard areas. If we have a fire and the tree's up and it comes down across the road, then people get trapped in the fire and just even laying on the ground. It's a horrendous challenge to anybody here. We're seeing an almost entire species loss here of the predominant species for this area. Those trees are essentially the lungs of the state. And so from an air quality perspective, they're critical in terms of just maintaining general air quality. They sequester carbon and hold on to emissions that would otherwise be coming out from wildfires. Because when this stuff burns, all that carbon goes in the atmosphere, every last stitch of it. It's inevitable that you want to deny this reality. You don't want to believe that your entire Ponderosa forest can be wiped out. It's breathtaking, it's overwhelming, and it, it makes you realize this is really an ecosystem changing event going on. Huge impact on wildlife, huge impact on our water supply. Perfect storm, and unfortunately, we're losing our Ponderosa forest for it. It's a monumental task, and it's going to require and take all of us working together collectively to try and treat this problem. The governor's task force on tree mortality to set up brings all the impacted agencies together in municipalities, and I can't say enough about the functioning of that, that team. All our discretionary emergency funds will go to this problem and we'll run out of money long before we solve the problem. People are put in danger. But there is $150 million towards healthy forest management through the uh, greenhouse gas uh, funding or cap and trade. And so we're certainly hopeful and supportive that that would remain in CAL FIRE's budget as the final budget is signed. You know, if, if this stuff goes up in smoke, it's so much worse for the environment than spending some of the cap and trade money to help get this down. Uh, this summer, we're going to hold our breath for a while and, and try to be really prepared to react as, as fires happen. This tree mortality situation is so devastating to California that it affects every Californian. So if you breathe the air or drink the water, you are affected too.